Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope you guys are doing well. So, um, I just want to, uh, I'm just starting my day and I want to show you something real quick before I head on. So, do you guys remember how I showed you all these containers at the beginning of the, of the year, probably around March or something like that? Well, they still had some more containers. Some of them were taken down. But, um, I had told you guys that all these containers are going to be coming down in a couple of weeks maybe uh, i'll show you all this place it will be empty my expectation was that all these things were going to be down all this place was going to be empty because that is what uh, had happened the previous two years so based on that experience i expected this place to be completely out of containers by july well we are in august and as you can see these things are still up there and i'm gonna tell you that it's been really really slow and i've been wondering why it's slow and why these things are up here i didn't know what was happening until a couple of weeks ago when i started running into articles that talked about the whole industry being slow intermodal department um like intermodal is slow i think i saw an article where jb hunt was saying like for intermodal it was it had gone down by maybe like i don't remember the real numbers was it like 10 percent or 13 percent or something like that but it so happens that the whole industry is really slow and i think that's important because when it comes to knowing what's happening it's very important so that when we are making decisions we don't make those decisions uh thinking that it's the company but understanding that it's the industry. If you don't know that it's the whole industry, then you may end up moving from one company to another company, thinking that things will be better, and then just getting there and realizing that it's the same thing. The only time where uh, moving from one company that, uh, to another company makes sense if the company is not treating you right and you are sure you are making a move to the company that is going to treat you right or in this case if you decide you want to make more money and it's slow with intermodal or with dry van then you don't want to go looking for another company that does the same thing that means you want to look for a company that does something different in a different niche maybe you want to move from intermodal going to uh, maybe hauling fuel but uh, don't move from a company that does intermodal to a company that does intermodal. Uh, say for example, if it was slow in hauling fuel, don't move from hauling fuel to another company that hauls fuel. Uh, that's the advantage of knowing what's happening in the industry. So that you don't blame your company, but you understand that it's the entire industry or your niche uh, that has a problem. So my my suggestion is that before you make a move uh, from one company to another, find out is it the company or is it the industry. Um, that's if uh, like you, are, you are making a move based on maybe freight, right? So you don't want to be making a move uh, from the frying pan to the frying pan or from the frying pan to the fire, if you know what I mean. So to me, understanding that it's not just JB Hunt, uh, but it's the industry, it's the intermodal department, it's the driver, and it's just that uh, right now things are slowing down. It's very important for me not to think or, or not to blame the company, but to understand that um, things are slow. Um, so it's been slow here, but I, I must say that since last week I've been having good, good days. Uh, so I don't know if it's gonna pick up uh, uh, in the last quarter, but things have been slow. And so I just thought I would share with you guys that, so that um, if you haven't been following what's happening in the industry, you understand that uh, you may be in a niche where things are a little bit slow. They are not as good as they were maybe the past two years. So understanding that helps for you to just stay calm and kind of see where things are, are moving unless you know you are moving from one niche to a different niche but again you must understand that also those that niche in the future may also have a problem so knowing that those differences between the industry and the niches 
will help us as truck drivers make better decisions. So the reason why all these containers are still up here is because it's not as good as it was the past two years. But hopefully it picks up again and we can start uh, being very busy. But as I said, um, the past few days have been really good for me, so I don't know if it's going to pick up. Uh, but I, at least I know that JB Hunt is doing its best to keep us really uh, busy, but it's not, it hasn't been as busy as it was uh, last year. So I just wanted to share with you that I know uh, some of you may be in a niche where you are facing the same challenges. I just want to encourage you to just uh, keep calm see where things are going but don't be in a panic to move and uh, from one place to another if you do that make sure you are making the right decision you are not moving from one niche to the same niche just changing companies especially if you like the company where you are right now like since i like jb hunt i just understand that's where i think this is how the industry is so i just have to keep my cool and and just you know I do my best and believe that JB Hunt also is trying their best. All right, guys, until next time, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye bye.